QC shooting. I want to talk about the, some ammunition carriers. Obviously, the vest I have itself has some pouches on it to carry uh, different AR-15 style magazines. Uh, the uh, U.S. Armed Forces for years has used uh, this magazine uh, carrier, that which carries three M16 AR-15 style magazines. Has a little snap and a shut here like that it, uh, in the front there. It has uh, two Alice clips on the back, which would be uh, then able to attach to attachment points on a vest or a belt. Um, this is an older style system. It's now being replaced by some newer uh, style things. Two things that uh, are kind of apparent with this. It gets a lot of, uh, of wear on both the attachment points with these metal against fabric, as well as it has a tendency to dangle, and it's kind of in your way no matter where you put it. Once it gets all fully loaded, it, it gets heavy. So uh, there's a couple other options that I like. I, I like this belt-mounted uh, or leg-mounted uh, unit that carries three AR-15-style magazines. It's got both Velcro and a snap. Three 30-round magazines right here. So I've got 90 rounds here. And then in the gun itself, I've got another 60 rounds. And so we're basically good to go, loaded up. And, and what's really nice about this is it distributes the weight nice and evenly. It's not a big box. It's not bulky. And uh, it's uh, easy to run, easy to crouch, easy to shoot, easy to get into positions, shoot, move, shoot, move, which is what you're going to be doing with CQC style shooting. Uh, one other thing I want to show you on this gun, I've installed now the uh, Seymour sight system. I've taken off the handle and I've installed the Seymour sight system. It basically uh, uh, because this is a flat top style gun, the handle does come off and the Seymour system goes right on. Uh, what this is is basically a, an optic here that on which a laser beam is projected onto the optic which creates a dot. That dot now is my aiming point. Okay, So what we've done here is we've eliminated the rear sight and the front sight per se. Okay, there still is a rear sight here and there still is a front sight here. But now, with this system, I can use just the single dot wherever I place the dot in turn the shot will go. And it's so simple because it's, it's set up like this. Basically, I've already sighted my gun in at 100 yards. All I'm going to do now is make sure that the dot intersects with the sights. So you turn the sight on and as you look down range, just look for your dot. And by looking through the rear aperture, looking at the front post, I've already got it set up so that the dot sits right on the front post. So now the gun is sighted in. So now wherever I see that dot, wherever it is, I don't even have to worry about the front sight anymore. That's where the shot will go. Okay. So by eliminating the ability or the need to look through the rear sight to the front post, by looking at just one object, I'm able to greatly increase my speeds in acquiring the sight, which enables me to shoot the shot faster. Again, my old adage, if you want to shoot faster, you've got to learn to see the sights faster. This device enables you to see the sight faster because all you have to do is see one object. Again, in traditional shooting, Rear sight, front sight, match them up, make sure you have the right sight picture, sight alignment, and then squeeze the shot. With the Seymour system and other systems like it, all we've got to do now is see one item, the red dot, place it on the target that I want to shoot, squeeze the trigger. I do not have to match anything up, so it's that much faster. And again, if you want to shoot faster, you've got to learn to see the sight faster. All right, uh, speaking of speed, one other thing I want to introduce here and we're going to use in our next segment is the timer. It's a Pocket Pro timer. Basically, it records your shots. I've introduced this in prior tapes. I think it's very important. It's the only way you can really test yourself, push yourself, improve yourself to see how fast you really are shooting is to use a timer. This is a great little device and I'll show you how it works uh, coming up here in this next segment, which we'll be shooting at multiple targets, both for speed and accuracy. Now we've talked about the sweet spot theory, engaging the first target. Now the, the key to this, or the secret to this, is to engage the second target basically the same way. All right? 
but the gun is already mounted. Boom, there it is. Second target, boom. Okay, see what happened is I took my whole head and gun with me at the same time. Boom, boom. Basically, a tank turret type move. I like to work here at these close distances in a sight picture dry fire deal. There it is, there it is, all right? Both eyes are open, looking at the target, picking a spot on the target I wanna hit, stopping the gun. Most people have a tendency to over travel and then come back. So, you can avoid that or should I say, uh, lessen your chances of doing that if you keep your eyeballs slightly ahead of the sight. All right, so now pay attention here. Here's what, what I'm gonna try to do. Mount for the first shot, bang, there's my shot. I, my eyeballs are traveling now after I've taken that shot. After I've seen the gun lift off, I wanna move my eyeballs, not my head, okay? My eyeball is gonna shift a little bit to the next target. Not my head though, okay? My head is gonna stay mounted on the gun. So I'm up, now I come across and I lead ever so slightly with my eyes. All right, that's the secret here for engaging the second target. Try not to, boom, boom. Too slow, all right? Too much movement, got too many things going on. Remember, once I get the gun mounted up here, that's it. That's my drill. I don't wanna take the gun away. Wherever I look, Wherever my head is, instinctively, the muzzle's going because it's my third eye. All right, one, two, three. It's lined up, so no matter where I look, if I hear a voice, boom, voice, and I instinctively look over, I'm ready to shoot, ready to engage. Again, keeping both eyes open. A lot of people grew up shooting with one eye closed, and you'll see in CQC, things are too fast, too close, too quick, to keep one eye closed. You limit your visibility by like right there. So all of a sudden I can't see anything over here. Okay? And all of a sudden I'm much less effective. Got to learn to shoot with both, uh, both eyes open and that's why mounting the head is even more important. Because I know that my strong eye, my right eye, is locked in. So I know that whatever I am looking at, whatever I see, my sight is there. Alright? So let's move back now and uh, put this into play. I'm not gonna use the timer yet. What I'd like to do here is uh, strictly go through the muscle drills that we're looking for to one, mount, shoot, stop. Mount, shoot, stop. Mount, shoot, stop. How fast can we go? All right, here we go. We're gonna charge up. Let's get our ears and eyes on. Okay, again, we're mount. The key is I wanna learn to stop on that target, okay? I wanna go ahead and I wanna get up, I wanna see it, I do wanna see the sight. This is a close distance. I can probably point shoot this very effectively, but I wanna learn to see the sight faster, so let's learn here at these close distances, all right? And go nice and slow, all right? Again, two good center hits. Nice and slow. And again, see what my finger is? I'm pointing very instinctively, gun is high, up, nice and easy, easy stuff, all right, really easy to go ahead and shoot the target. It's a, a simple fact of being able to see that sight faster to shoot faster and it takes practice. You can do it in dry fire situation all day long, and that's why I suggest you go ahead and start it. Let's move back a little bit further now. Again, my target's gonna be at about 20, 25 yards. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Again, a little farther distance. I wanna make sure I see the target. And there they are. Now, make that magazine change. All right, again, starting here, see the sight, 